hi hello how are you all this fine day i hope that if you're here you subscribe to this channel if you're not already and you check out everything that's down below you know a like button a comment section a description box full of links and things so go ahead check that out because you asked me some questions because i asked you to ask me via the channel community tab which you know if you didn't know that was there it is if you're subscribed you are probably going to see it most likely and if you want to participate in a future q a if this is something you enjoy then let me know ask me questions and you know subscribe support and this is likely going to be in like at least two parts because time is a thing and we're just gonna get on into it and we're gonna start with a question from Mason D and he asked what do you think would make better media depictions of autism simply put intersectionality because that is something that is so constantly over overlooked and the only depictions of autism that are i guess probably just the most common and what i know of represent very little of who is neurodiverse and autistic because being autistic does not likely mean you are a white straight male in a middle class socioeconomic status uh autism is prevalent in all ages all races all genders all sexualities and autistic people are more likely to be in the lgbtq plus community anyway so i wish that was something that we could see that autism isn't just an isolated thing and just to have a character that is autistic but has more depth than that besides just like here's like the autistic person in the background with stereotypical um behaviors and characteristics because one that's only one version that does not apply to everyone and i'm autistic and it's a big part of who i am but there's also more to that and to be treated like as a person and not just a child or a surface level character would be a plus would be great progress nathan boo asked what made you want to become an advocate for autism which i mean the question alone is very uh it makes me feel official because it sounds like a, a job title type of thing. So thank you for that. But my advocacy comes from, as probably most advocates, it comes from lived experience of recognizing that I'm in a privileged position. And at the same time, I constantly have no choice but to advocate for myself because others are not understanding they are not aware of everything that i need that is contrary to how most symptoms not symptoms systems are are like in our world and if i have to constantly advocate for myself and i am who where i am then i can only that that has to be only a fraction of what other people are experiencing 
and if I can have even like a minuscule impact on empowering others to be able to realize that they are valued, they aren't broken, it's it's the whole thing of like it's it's not you, it's me, but it is actually you. It's it's not me that is always the problem, I guess. Um, yeah, I just, I, I want to do something with this knowledge that I have of being autistic and, you know, if, if I can do something, then that's worth it to me. Nani Mus asks, how do you deal with school, finishing work, studying, friends, etc.? Any tips? And I come to this with the disclaimer that I, relatively speaking, I've been aware that I'm autistic for a fairly short amount of time. So most of my lived experiences in school and working and relationships, all of that have happened under the guise of I am neurotypical and something is wrong with me because I, I'm bad at all these things. I keep failing. Everything is just really hard and I'm just a mess, for lack of better terms. So I guess any tips, because I, I obviously still deal with, you know, finishing work and friendships and all the things. And I guess my biggest tip would be learn more about yourself, learn how you best communicate how you best learn, what kind of environment you thrive in, and do not just yourself to do as much as you can, but also find, as is possible during a pandemic, during whatever, but if you can, find other people that can be your cheerleaders in that sense of knowing that you don't have to try and accommodate for everything alone, but you know, just do the best you can and set expectations that are actually realistic, even if that means like your best in a given day is nothing off of a to-do to list, but you woke up and you existed and that's all that you really need to do so not very helpful because i mean you can only do so much um you can be autistic and be amazing at all the things but you still need to be true to who you are and if you know what your baseline is of like, this is, this is me, this is what, in an ideal world, this is how I want to communicate with others. Here's who I want in my life. Here's, here's all the things. And you're not going to achieve it all in one day and just do your best as cliche as it is, but you know, I, I sure haven't figured it out. So if you have, let me know. Jackie Flowers asked how to survive the crushing weight of capitalism on a daily basis. I like to, uh, this is where I see a strength in being autistic and having special interests or just being so interested in what you're interested in, you know? Like we take it to like 10 notches above 
what neurotypicals probably have in terms of like, I'm interested in this. Well, I can fully immerse myself in, in a book or a podcast or whatever, whatever you love. I think that's, that's how I cope is that I have those places physical or otherwise that I can escape to when I need to, which is often, <laughs> but have things that you love that are outside of just the daily, the daily grind, you know, and let yourself be immersed and escape and just have something you enjoy, you know, because we can't, we can't fix a broken system as individuals. So we just got to make the most of what we can. And the last question I'll answer in this video is from Switch Jim. And he asked if, or they asked if neurotypical wasn't a thing at all and all are equally diverse, you know, all is well and equal. In a perfect world, what would you want and slash do? Um, and I would say very basic things because ultimately I would just want to be content. I would want my loved ones to be healthy and well. And I mean, I'm, <laughs> The context of asking this question is like just laughable at this point of being in a pandemic in crumpling democracy in in this postmodern capitalism that is falling apart around us. But, you know, in a perfect world, I would just want to be like I've always pictured myself just like in like a tiny home or like on like a little farm and a very simple life is really all I want. You know, a couple of dogs probably and you know, maybe some farm animals and just to be like at peace. And I can imagine just so many different pressures and weight that is off my shoulders just from things being okay. And I'd want that for other people and you know if in that extent of it I would probably just keep pursuing other forms of activism because I'm called to things that are just either political or just social justice and climate change and all that stuff. Um, if those are still things that exist then I want I want to help in some way like that and maybe just write on the side too so that's all i'm going to answer in this video if you have more questions send them my way expect more at least one more part of this and with that i will see you all next time